Hello and happy 2023. Uh, Patrick Walchuk here and as we usually do we take a building that sold in the previous month and we break down the financials and present it to you so you can see exactly what the market is like. Uh, if you enjoy getting these videos and these financial breakdowns click on the subscription button hit the notification bell and we'll send them out to you every 30 days. So in this case uh, we selected a property that sold in December of 2022. It was a six unit building in central Ottawa. It was listed for almost two million dollars it sold for its full list price now the scheduled rental income on it was about hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars the effective rental income after deducting for vacancy and bad debt was about hundred and thirty four thousand dollars and that uh, had operating expenses about thirty thousand dollars and then total operating expenses after we factor in uh, maintenance and management of almost $44,000, and I'm rounding off some of these things, right? So the important thing is that gives us an NOI of close to $91,000. So let's see what this means. So with those numbers, those financials, it had a capitalization rate of about 4.5%. The operating expense ratios were uh, kind of in line, you know, they're, they're not bad at 32-33%. Uh, it sold for 15 times the gross and 22 times the net, which, you know, isn't bad, it's sort of average-ish. Now, my rule of thumb that was, used to be kind of thing, was with the 35% down payment, hopefully you would get a positive cash flow out of the property. So what happens when we look at this from a 35% down payment, that is the equivalent of $700,000 down, <clears throat> gives us a, a mortgage of about a million three, and those are the monthly payments. Now the annual debt service on that mortgage is about $95,000. We know what our NOI is, so <clears throat> what this property is generating, or not generating, is um, a negative cash flow of four thousand six hundred and fifteen thousand so again the down payment was about seven hundred thousand this investor would be losing uh, the ROI would be down negative point six six percent okay so what would it take in order to have a down payment large enough so it broke even or it had at least a small positive cash flow. So we recalculated those numbers and we'll just show you that uh, real quickly. <clears throat> so this part you know, remains the same. The down payment though to break even is now 39%, not 35 that we had hoped for. And that is a higher dollar value obviously is $780,000. And the bottom line is, that what that generates is a positive cash flow of $1,241. So this investor is now making a positive ROI of 0.16%. If you have any questions, you want to talk about this, don't hesitate to give me a call. Patrick Walchuk, thank you.